Just kidding. I'm trying to get in the Christmas spirit. I'm not quite there yet, but we are working on it. And today is going to be the last video of November that I post because it is the last Monday of fall for me. So that means it is time to update my rolling cart to a new season and I'm going to be adding all of my Christmas and winter scents and removing all of my fall products. So that's the goal for today. This video is also going to serve the purpose of showing you some of the body lotions I got on Body Lotion Day from Bath & Body Works. Typically I post uh, fragrances I'm wearing this month once a month at the beginning, but since this is going to be the first month of a new season, I usually take this time to go a little more in depth and do some dusting and organizing and decluttering if I need to. And so this is pretty much like my other scents of the month videos, except a little more intense. For those of you who don't know me very well, my name is Melissa and I used to be a part-time manager at a Bath & Body Works for about six years. And now I'm here on YouTube making cozy seasonal relevant content as well as Bath & Body Works videos. So make sure you subscribe to my channel down below so you don't miss any of my future videos and let's get Christmasifying. <laughs> Okay, now we're in the bathroom. Okay, so we are in the bathroom, which is the location of my Use It Up Body Care Rolling Cart. And as you can see, it is a hot mess. It's gotten messy since I did my last rolling cart update. It's got all fall products, but it's also got just some random things that I've used like once or twice. So the first step is all of this has got to go. For whatever reason, I don't have any of the Christmas or winter scents from Mrs. Myers, but I do have this rosemary, which is still kind of festive to me because it smells herbaceous and it kind of reminds me of Christmas cooking. So I am going to use this rosemary, Mrs. Myers, for dusting the rolling cart. All right, step number two, I'm going to go through all of my body care bins and locate which fragrances I want to add to my rolling cart to use for Christmas time. The bins that you're seeing here, this one is bath bombs and bath salts. This one right here is Marshall's Body Care and Tree Hut, pretty much all of my non-Bath & Body Works body cares in this bin. This bin right here is all of my winter Bath & Body Works body care. This stuff right here, the body scrubs and stuff in the bag, is stuff that I included in my winter haul, which if you haven't seen my haul video of that stuff yet, I will post it in the card section above. And then right lined up right there are my body lotions that I just bought for body lotion day. So yeah, I'm going to go through all of these, figure out which ones I wanna use. For the Bath & Body Works body care, I'm also actually going to make a shopping list. So for example, if a shower gel doesn't have a matching body cream or spray or something like that, I will make a little list of the things that I can buy to complete those sets. And then the second week of December is actually body care day at Bath & Body Works. They're gonna have their big sale on all of the body care. That way I have a little list of the things that I need to grab to complete my sets. for step three and we're gonna fill up this rolling cart with all of the scents that I picked out starting with classic twisted peppermint this is my personal signature scent for Christmas so this is the one I wear every year for the holidays this particular packaging is from 2017 of this body cream it was part of like a naughty and nice collection and the notes are a blend of cool peppermint sugared snow vanilla buttercream and fresh balsam I have it in the body cream I have it in this packaging of fine fragrance mist and then this is also a part of the naughty and nice collection from 2017 this is a two-in-one bubble bath and body wash. 
The next one up is another one of my favorites for Christmas. This is from 2019 and it is Christmas Cocoa and Mint. The fragrance notes on this one are decadent milk chocolate, thin mint cookies, and marshmallow fluff. To me, this smells a lot like Girl Scout cookie thin mints. This is the body cream packaging. I also have it in the fine fragrance mist. I love the packaging of the fragrance mist. You can see little polar bears in Christmas mugs. And then I also have it in the shower gel. I am adding in Vanilla Bean Noel, and this is kind of weird, but after all of these years, I have never used Vanilla Bean Noel as a body care fragrance. I've always had it in soaps and sanitizers, and I might have even had it in like a wallflower or two. I guess I just never got around to ever using it before, so I'm excited this year to finally give it a go. This particular packaging is just from a couple years ago in the shower gel, and the fragrance notes are fresh vanilla bean, sugar cookies, warm caramel, whipped cream, and snow-kissed musk. Once again, I have it in the shower gel. I have it in this year's bottle of body lotion. And then I have it in an even older fine fragrance mist that looks like this. I love this fragrance. So the next one is Christmas Cookies. And this particular packaging is a shower gel from the Land of Sweets collection. The year on this one was 2019. I love 2019's Christmas. I thought it was one of their better ones. I definitely was super into all of the gourmands and the cute like little snowy village. So the fragrance notes on this one is creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, and caramel woods. So here it is in the body wash, the packaging that matches that collection, Land of Sweets. And then I have this year's packaging for the body lotion. All right, this one I'm actually gonna save for a little bit later, but I am gonna add it to the cart anyway. This is Iced Sugar Plum from this year, and the fragrance notes are sparkling sugar plums, snowdrop petals, and whipped marshmallow. This is the shower gel. And then I also got it in the body lotion on body lotion day. I do not have the fine fragrance mist yet, but I do plan on getting it. So I'm just gonna leave a hole for where the fine fragrance mist will go, and then I'll just get that very soon. As an honorable mention, I am gonna add the fine fragrance mist of hot cocoa and cream to the cart. I'm gonna put it in the hole where the sugar plum is gonna go, but I actually plan on pairing this with some of my body care that I got from Marshalls. So we've got hot cocoa and cream right here. I started these shower steams in the fall and I'm gonna continue using them until they're all gone. This is the Bath & Body Works Aromatherapy Energy Blend with orange and ginger. These are shower steamers. I find that these pair well with any cranberry scents or kind of spicy, warm clove types of scents. So I'm gonna keep using those until they're gone. And then along with those energy orange ginger ones, I'm also going to add the Stress Relief Eucalyptus Spearmint because I feel that that will pair well with all of my pepperminty fragrances. I'm gonna add some face masks that are holiday themed. I actually got these from Walmart last year, only for a dollar a piece. They have brightening candy cane cocoa, hydrating cranberry cider, and detoxifying gingerbread spice. The next category is body oils. This one is also from Walmart. This is just the Equate brand, but I think that Vaseline also makes a duplicate of this product. This is the body oil gel in Coco Divine, and to me it smells just like vanilla buttercream, so I think it will pair well with all of my gourmand fragrances for Christmas. And then the other body oil I'm gonna be using this season is Ginger and Cardamom. This was a part of an essential oils collection by Bath & Body Works a few years ago, and this actually is made with olive oil, and this smells really good. So I was explaining this in my last Sense I'm Wearing This Month video. I wear my body care usually twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening, which means I end up using body care without showering sometimes, and so I like to have a set in here that I can use for non-showering body care moments, if that makes sense. So I have a matching set of these travel sizes from 2016, Sugar Plum Swirl, and they don't have a shower gel to go with them, so I'm actually gonna use these for like gym mornings when I'm not showering quite yet, but I still wanna fragrance myself. I have a makeup basket that I usually have my lip glosses in, but I think it'd be cute to add some holiday lip glosses to my rolling cart because sometimes I like to put some moisture on my lips after I shower. So I'm adding hot cocoa and cream and twisted peppermint. For winter, these are the three deodorants that I'm gonna prioritize. The first one is by Dove and it's vanilla and cocoa butter. Second one is also by Dove and it is apple and white tea. And then the third one is by Native and it is mint cookie cupcake. I think that between these three, I can pretty much get any pairing I need with my winter-themed body care. 
I just realized that I forgot this one, so you won't see it in my outro, but I also am going to include the candy cane deodorant by Native. I was having Jose peel a sticker off of it, and I forgot to bring it back into the bathroom, so I didn't include it in the very end. But just know this one is also a part of the rolling cart. Okay, so now we are looking at the bottom of the cart, and this is where I'm gonna keep some of my larger items, like my body scrubs and some of the big bubble baths and stuff. So the first one we have is this Onyx Bathhouse Ugly Sweater Weather Body Scrub, and this is scented like cozy cashmere, and it has Moroccan oil in it. So it has sandalwood, vanilla, and patchouli as the scents. So that's my most festive looking one, and it's got this dark green sugar scrub inside. It's got two colors of green actually. It's got like a dark green and then it has like a more vibrant green on the bottom. The next one is also an Onyx Bathhouse body scrub and it is Look on the Bright Cider Life and it's scented like cranberry. I'm actually going to keep this in for a little while. I am actually waiting for my Tree Hut scrub of Frosted Cranberry to come in the mail so I'm gonna keep this one in my cart until I get that one then I probably will swap them out. Speaking of Tree Hut, I now have this candy cane body scrub by Tree Hut and this smells so good. It smells like vanilla buttercream mixed with peppermint. It smells like crushed candy canes. So very delicious. It will go with any of my minty or my chocolate body care. So I'm gonna put that in. Next up is Holiday Cheer also by Tree Hut. This one smells kind of like pine trees and mold spices, kind of like some clove and nutmeg, mainly like pine trees. So it smells very Christmassy. I have frosted sugar cookie in the body scrub and this will prove very important for when I have my Christmas cookies or my vanilla bean Noel shower routine. So I'm gonna use that with those. And then I have this cute little baby tree hut scrub that is sugar plum berries and I got this one last year and it's just in this little mini size. It's so cute. So I'm gonna be working on using that one. This is a little bit repetitive with the candy cane, but I do find that actually Twisted Peppermint smells quite different than the candy cane. And since I have those Twisted Peppermint body cares, I'm going to continue using my Twisted Peppermint Sugar Scrub. And as a reminder, this one has notes of peppermint, sugared snow, vanilla buttercream, and fresh balsam. Oh, and it's cute. He's got the little polar bear there. And then when you turn around, he's holding a little candy cane behind his back. So normally I put bath bombs or like bath products on this side. I'm gonna put bubble baths here. I don't really have any bath bombs at the moment to use, but that's okay, because I have more than enough bubble baths to be using. And a lot of the bubble baths are two-in-ones to body wash, so I mainly use them like body wash, but I'll also take baths with them too. So back in 2018, Bath & Body Works had made some of their popular home fragrance scents as these body washes, and they didn't make the body care fragrances in any other form. It was only in these two-in-one bubble bath and body washes. So the first one we have is Tis the Season and it does smell just like the candle and the notes are red apple, sweet cinnamon, and cedar wood. And then the other one by Bath & Body Works that I have is Fresh Balsam and once again this smells identical to the candle. Woodland Balsam, Crisp Eucalyptus, Fir Branches, and Cedar Wood. I've really been enjoying the brand Philosophy. I get these from Marshalls. The medium one like this size is actually 16 ounces, so there is quite a lot in them. They do have a jumbo size even bigger than this, and then they have a little size, but the medium one that I have here is only $10.99 when you can find them at Marshalls. Um, I assume same thing with TJ Maxx. But I have Pink Frosted Animal Cracker, and I find that this one smells like vanilla lemon icing. It's very light and vibrant, um, but it's quite fragrant too, so I'm looking forward to perhaps pairing this with some of my more cookie scents. I'm also super excited to try this one. This is Orange Cocoa and Cream. I love orange and chocolate paired together, so definitely looking forward to this one. Here's the little baby sizes that I was talking about, and these ones are only $6.99 from Marshalls or TJ Maxx. This one is Pink Marshmallow Buttercream, and this one is similar to the Pink Frosted Animal Cookie, except the marshmallow does come into play. It's a little more toasty vanilla-y, while the Frosted Animal Cookie is more of that zingy lemon scent. And then the last of the Philosophy products, I have this little one of Wondrous Winter, and this mainly smells like pine trees and citrus. I got this kit last year from Ulta for Christmas and they are kind of an assortment of bath products and they're all themed of like a hot chocolate bar. So I'm gonna take them out and I'll show you a closer look. The only one I've used is this one, but I'll show you when we get there. Let me unpack this first. They also have these cute little lids here too, but the first one is peppermint and this is a three-in-one body wash, bubble bath, and shampoo. I most likely am just going to use it as bubble bath, but we will see. 
The next one I have is hot cocoa, and this is a bath confetti, so I assume you sprinkle it into the water and it just kind of progressively melts into your bath. This is the one that I have used. This is cinnamon swirl, and it is a bubble bath. This one here is a body lotion, and it smells like white chocolate. And then last of these ones, this is marshmallow, and they are bath salts. And then very last but not least, I have this foam bath. It's kind of like Epsom salts a little bit, but it's a little more fizzy and you just kind of sprinkle it in. This is foam bath, peaceful patchouli, and sweet orange. I thought this would go well with my more pine and citrus kind of themed body care. All right, and here is the final result of what my Christmassy rolling cart is looking like for my Use It Up body care. Make sure you leave me a comment down below and let me know which fragrances you plan on wearing this December, and I will see you in my next video. Until next time, bye.